For each of these items that we have on the stage, we're gonna add keyframes and put them in position along the timeline of how far we want the duration to be, right? So what we want out of this ad, we want the phone to actually be off the uh, stage and then move into the stage while fading in, okay? So usually it's, our settings are at 24 frames per second. So if it's gonna take it one second to slide in, we're gonna go over to the phone layer and we're gonna place our cursor right on the 24th frame. And then to add a keyframe, you're gonna to go to the insert menu and go down to timeline and select keyframe. So now I'm gonna click back on the first frame for the phone. And in the first frame, this phone is gonna be off the canvas, okay? So I'm gonna click on the phone and just hold shift just to make sure that it's keeping aligned. And I'm just gonna move it off the stage. Now on the first keyframe, I also want it to be invisible as well, right? So what I'm gonna do is in my property panel, you see where it says color effect? We're gonna choose the style to be alpha. So we're gonna select alpha and we're gonna put the opacity all the way down to zero. And then we're gonna move our playhead back to the 24th keyframe. And then click on the phone. And then go back to our properties, change that style to alpha and put the opacity to 100. Okay. So now on frame one, it's off the stage and has a zero opacity. On frame 24, it's on the stage in the correct position we want it to be, and it's at 100% opacity. So now what we need to do is create what's called a tween animation. So it's gonna animate it from zero off the stage to on the stage at 100. So now you can just click anywhere in between here in your timeline. And we're gonna go up to the insert menu. So we're gonna select classic tween. And then now if you scrub the playhead from zero all the way to 24, you'll see it goes from zero opacity to 100. So down at the bottom here, you can rewind and then you can just hit play and you can see how that sort of fades in and goes right onto the stage. Okay. So one last thing I wanna do is I don't want the phone to just end abruptly like that when it comes onto the stage. I wanna sort of get it to ease into place. So it's sped up, but then I want it to kind of slow down a bit, right? So I'm gonna click anywhere just in the center of that timeline for the phone. And then again, your properties, see where it says tweening? We're gonna slide the ease value up to 100. So now when we rewind this and play it, it speeds up but then slows down and then stops into place.